Hello, previously in the Splunk Fundamental 3 playlist, we discussed about the eval command, right? So we basically discussed very thoroughly about different eval functions we can use with our eval command and how eval command works, those stuff, right? Now, now there are certain eval functions which specifically deals with the JSON data we will try to discuss in this video and maybe in the next video as well so a couple of videos i think we need to understand that so those videos will be part of the splunk fundamental 3 playlist only so i think i'll be placing it after this eval command video as well okay so so let us try to see that uh, how those functions work so basically we need to use it with either eval command or or the where command over there and they specifically deals with the json data like creating a json object from splunk event basically the splunk field field values right or even we can use those functions to manipulate json object as well in in, in splunk so we'll see some technical details about those commands as well okay so the first command we will be using it called the json underscore object there so so basically let's first concentrate on how we can create a json object from splunk data let's say it could it could be any field value or it could be a event event field extracted field value as well okay so the a possible use case could be like if you want to send some json event from splunk to other system or some or some other need as well you want to generate the json object from splunk data so generally like we do like we we ingest json object json data in splunk and then try to work with the extracted fields over there right this is the process of the opposite one like here we are trying to generate a json object from the splunk data okay so it could be something like this one so let's say let's take an example a very simple example let's say i want I need to send this kind of JSON structure to a outside system or maybe inside Splunk to some other other stuff for other purpose I need to generate this this JSON object over there so how I will do it okay and if you see like this is a this is a nested JSON right so under movies we have genres different genres it could be more than one genre as well I have just given a very simple example here like a single genre and let's assign to science fiction and inside the science fiction i can have sub genre as well like let's say if i want to list down some couple of movies which are belongs to science fiction but there is belongs to space travel sub genre and there are some kind of movies which are time travel sub genre over, over there as well okay so i want to generate this kind of complex json structure from my splunk event or from my splunk data so how how i can do it there is a method or function called json underscore object there okay so let us try to see that so let me go to my splunk and what i can do is we'll try to just generate very very simple example data that's why you, i will just try to use make results so here basically i can use any eval with the make result right so i do not need to have any kind of index data for this one so if i can write something like this one let's say eval now we are we are trying to generate this data right so that means we need to create these keys and their corresponding values over here right so let us first try to start from this guy over here so let's say let's create this key value space travel and the value of this key is a json array over here if you see it right so to create a key value you need the json underscore object method so if i just write something like this one eval json underscore data equals to the the function we'll be using is json underscore object here object here so this function actually allows us to create json data from from a field field name or or any key value pair you can you can give it over here field value pair you can or name value pair you can give it over here something like this one so if i just say if i just go back to our uh, data.txt so 
I'll just try to copy this key over here. So JSON underscore object takes two input. One is a key name. Another is a value name. Okay, so the value could be another JSON object or it could be a simple string as well over here. So let's first try to create a simple string. Let's say I just give Star Wars over here. So if I do that and run this guy, so the JSON data will be a JSON object if you see it over here like with the key space travel and the uh, value as star wars over here right so it's a very simple function which takes two argument and it basically creates this json structure over here now instead of star wars we need a json array over here right because we need we need three movie name over here so to create an array what we need is there is a another function called json underscore array so instead of this guy as a value what i will do is i will create json underscore a double r a y array as a input over here okay so here so basically json underscore array takes multiple arguments comma separated arguments multiple string okay and then it it can take another json array as well as, as its input over here okay so for now according to our current requirement we just need to pass three string over here comma separated so that will create an array json array here so i'll just copy it from my file here so i'll just copy these three names over here and if i just pass these three names as comma separated so json array will basically create the json array over here something like this one right so we basically created the key as space travel and the value of that key as this particular array over here with the movie names now let's move on but we need to create another key over here under science fiction right so we will see that how to do that because Currently, we just learned two functions over here. One is the JSON underscore object, which basically takes a single key name and a single value. The value could be anything over here, like another JSON object or another JSON array, anything or simple string over here as well. And we have we know how to create a JSON array as well from a list of string here. So we still not know how to add another key to this particular to this particular key so let us first try to create this science fiction key first then we will talk about more so how i can create that if i just think about it if i just for now if we just ignore this guy here the time travel movies so science fiction have a single dictionary or basically the single json structure as its value right which you already created here so this value is actually nothing but the value of the science fiction key over there, right? So we can easily create the structure using the JSON underscore object. So what I will do is I will wrap these guys into another JSON underscore object. And if you see, now it makes sense that the key name will be, so let us first create that. The key name is the science fiction and the value of that key is this whole structure over here right this is this is the one just now we have created here so uh, as you can see the value of that key can be another json object over here with the complex structure as well so if i just run this guy so now it has created another key science fiction with the value of this guy so we still don't know how to add another key over here as a part of science fiction we will do that later so now let us first create the other structures of genres and movies as well because it is just very simple so we'll apply the similar logic for, to create the genres key right so we'll wrap this whole stuff into another json underscore object similar for movies as well correct so let me copy this key over here genres and i will wrap this whole stuff into another json object 
I will write that one. First, I will paste the key name and the value will be this guy and the JSON object is over here. So if I just do that, so another node I have created over here called Jenners over here, right? Similarly for movies as well, I will wrap this guy. So this is the layers we have created over here, right? So, so this is the top topmost node now for us. So our Jenner, our node name is movies or basically the key name is movies and the function we will be using is json underscore object and if you see it like we can use this method just like json object and json array method to create this kind of complex json structure as well right so now the main challenge left is how i can add another key over here as as a part of this science fiction over here right because science fiction has two keys over here the time travel one now for that there is another function available called json underscore set which basically allows us to update or insert a new key as a part of another another key over here key value over here okay so any part of the json if you just want to update it you can use that we can use that json underscore set method there okay so let us try to see that how we can use that one to ingest this guy in in the science fiction here so what i'll do is to do that we will create a new field so that we can we can easily see it and remember you need to use these things this all this json object json array or json set whatever we are learning today with eval mostly you'll be using it with eval there are certain functions which you can use it with where clause as well okay we'll we will see that one because there are so many JSON functions available to manipulate the JSON data. So we will try to learn slowly over here. So let's create a new field called new. Okay, we will try to see how it has ingested this one over here. So here, as I said, we will be using JSON underscore set function here, which basically takes three argument one is a json object which we already have it over here which we want to update so let's set that one as a json data because we want to update our json data because we want to ingest a new key over here right under science fiction now second thing it needs a path so in the in this particular playlist itself if you go down so there is a video on s path right so there we discussed about how we can use path in a json structure so similar concept over there as well okay so the path basically tells me how to traverse through the json object over here so if i just give a path something like this one so we have a structure something like this one over here right movies general science fictions so if I just write something like movies movies dot so this is how we, we basically mention the JSON path here dot generous so this is how you are traversing over here right so I am telling it under movies under generous under science fiction so you just need to give the whole stuff in a single double quote over here if you see it dot so now i want to create a new key right so that that's why i'll just give the new key name after the science fiction dot so if you are giving an existing key name you'll be basically trying to update that key but if you are giving a new key name so it will basically create that key under the this particular node over here the just previous node over here okay so it will create the time travel key over here with what value so the value is nothing but this similar structure whatever we have for our space travel right so i can i can copy that one i can copy this json object over here so if i just can copy from here to here I think this should be fine. So this is the third argument of the JSON underscore set where it takes the value of that key 
like what whatever you want to create or update so that particular value you need to give give it over here now let's make some modifications we do not want space travel what we want is the time travel so i'll just replace space travel with time travel and in the json array i'll just give this movie's name here here okay so if i just run this guy now and if you see under the science fiction after space travel it has created the time travel key over here as well but it created doubles because i think we do not need this time travel key again because the, when we created the space travel we created something like this one right because but for now we created actually using the json underscore object but for now we are using the json underscore set so here we just need to give this particular json array itself as a value of that time travel over here so let us remove that one so if i just remove one of the brackets from here and and this this an object because we already created the key there so now i think it should be working fine and if you see it like this one okay so we are able to create the additional key under a specific key using the json underscore set function over here now if you want to update a particular element in the json what we can do is we can use the similar function right with similar kind of concept over here so let us let us try to see that so for now what i can do is as this is working fine so we can name it as json underscore data itself so that the same data whatever we are working with will be updated over here as well something like this one okay so it is basically merging this one i just change the variable name over here i have i have used the same variable name over here right so that's why it has updated the same json structure now let us try to see how i can update a particular stuff over here so we will take similar approach we'll just try to see with the new then if it is working fine we will merge it here so we will use similar concept json underscore set let me copy this guy over here so the first thing is we need a json object which is the json data over here second thing is we want to let's say for the space travel key i want to update the third element over here as moon let's say so my key name under under the under the space science fiction right the key name is space travel i want to update that key so let us give that now once we traverse this till, till this path over here right the value of the space travel is what it is a it is an array over here right so to add to update the third element of the array so what you need to do is you need to use something like this one curly bracket 2 over here not this one curly bracket here curly bracket 2 over here so that will basically basically this is zero index over here like right? this is zero this is one and this is two that's why i have given the index number over here okay so this will update to what so let me remove this one let's pass a single string over here so if i can do that let's see how it's going and if you see for the space travel the third movie is updated with this moon over here so this is some of the use case not even i don't i, I don't call it as a use case but this is some of the this applications of the json object json set and json array functions which you can use it with eval to create complex json structure over here now use case wise it may be limited but in in next video there are certain functions which would be more helpful over here to update or manipulate the json existing json data from splunk event that would be maybe may more useful in our day-to-day -day work but this is something good to know like if you have if you can come across some use case which requires to generate a json data from from your splunk events you can you can use this methods to to achieve that one probably that that should be the best way of 
using this, this, these functions over here. Okay. So hopefully this video is helpful. See you in the next video.